We're talking about different accounts that you'd find on your financial statements and talking about what their definition is, also what beautiful financial statement they'd show up on, uh, and the type of account it is, and if we were doing a statement of cash flows, what activity type it is, whether it's operating, investing, or financing. So we're looking at building. Now, a building is something you build, and it's very tangible. Sometimes it's called real estate, isn't it? And a building is property, plant, and equipment. And it's something that we depreciate or use over time. So you just don't write off a building in the first year you build it. You recognize that that building has a useful life, and you take a portion of that building's cost and you divide it between the different years of its useful life. In other words, we depreciate it over its lifetime. So property, plant, equipment is a, a, a balance sheet item. And it would, let's see, since it's non-current asset, would show up in investing. Accumulated depreciation is the shadow account of building. And it also is property, plant, and equipment. And what it shows is the accumulation or usage over time of that building. In other words, how much of that building have you used to date? So if you take the building, the cost of the building, minus its accumulated depreciation, you get a number, and it's called its book value, or how much life is left in the building. Now, the book value has nothing to do with what the real estate market says that building is worth. So all that building minus accumulated depreciation show is from a usage standpoint how much life or cost is left to depreciate. So because it's property, plant, and equipment, shows up on the balance sheet and it's an investing activity. Land is also property, plant, and equipment. And yes, we've talked about it, but I wanted to make the point that land is never depreciated because land is forever, isn't it? So when we buy land, the cost of the land shows up on our balance sheet at its cost, but we do not depreciate it over time because land is forever. The things that we depreciate are buildings, machinery, and equipment but never land. So I just want to make sure I made that point. Uh, again, land is a balance sheet account and changes in it, buying and selling land, would be an investing activity. Patents is an intangible. It's when we have a great idea and we file it with the patent office and we get a patent on our idea. So whenever anybody else uses our idea, they have to pay us for the right to use our idea because it's been patented. Now, an intangible is an asset account and it's a non-current asset, so it shows up on the balance sheet and it's an investing activity. Oh, let's turn it to some of the financing pieces of it, which current portion of long-term debt. The current portion is how much of that debt will I pay in the next 12 months? So the current portion is the bills that will come due within the next operating cycle, which is generally 12 months. So because of that, it's a current liability or a current responsibility. And because it's a liability, it's on the balance sheet. But because it's current, it will show up in the operating section. Short-term notes payable is also a current liability. It's on the balance sheet, and it's an operating account. And notice short term or current portion are what tips you off that they're come, they will come due or are payable in the next 12 months. If it said long term debt or notes payable long term, then those would be not current liabilities, but long term liabilities. And remember, those are on the balance sheet, but when we look at cash flow activities, those show up in not the in operating section, but in the financing section, don't they? So that's a little bit about some non-current assets and some current liabilities.
Thank you.